Happy to have the Blazers head coach Terry Stotts joining us here courtside. You were about two seats to our right taking it in. What is your uh, your view of summer league so far for your team for the Portland Trail Blazers? Well, you know, we won the last two games and uh, probably our two best games of the summer. And so there's kind of a good feeling right now. I like the way we're playing right now, the pace of the game. We've gotten better over the week. So that's really encouraging. How about that man, Caleb Swan again, averaging a double double coming out of Purdue and uh, already has been opening eyes. Has he opened yours even larger than when you drafted him? Well, obviously we liked him. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have drafted him. Uh, you know what he did in the Big Ten the last two years, uh, particularly last year. I mean, I think what he does translates. He's an excellent rebounder. He's a smart player. Uh, he communicates well. Um, so this has been a really positive experience for him in summer league. And uh, this is just the first step. You know, we've got some other things going on in the summer in September, but uh, certainly we're pleased with the way he's played. I want to ask you, Terry, at the end of the year, you guys were playing well until that that maniac got hurt, Yusef Nurkic. <laughs> and I know he's become a fan favorite, but uh, how is he doing and how do you see him uh, evolving? Well, you know, he's doing well. Matter of fact, all the guys who are uh, injured at the end of the year, Ed Davis and, and Yusuf, are both uh, are doing well. Uh, he's in L.A. right now working out, and he's going to go back to Bosnia in about a week or so. And, uh, you know, he, he did bring a lot of uh, – he kind of changed our team. You know, I think uh, we – certainly Damian Lillard had a big part of our turnaround in the second half of the season or after the All-Star break, but Yusuf was, was outstanding. And uh, – He's been working really hard. His foot's fine, and uh, he's working on his conditioning. You know, when we got him in uh, in February, he wasn't in, in great basketball shape, but he, he knows how important that is, and he's been working hard on it. Uh, Jake Lehman, I know uh, the offensive numbers haven't been there so far in the summer league. Here's the before and after before we get to Jake, but you can see the uh, two points per game up. Uh, the defense was getting better as well, and obviously the record for you guys to make the surge to get into the So post apparently we got better on offense and defense, <laughs> and we shot the ball better. There you go. Okay, that's a good formula. That's I like that. <laughs> that usually translates yeah. to more wins than losses. Yeah, yeah. That's, co that's coaching. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what do you, uh, what do you need for uh, Jake? He looked a little bit like some of the confidence may be shaken just a little bit here. You know, he's put in a lot of time uh, since the season was over and, and getting up a lot of shots, and it's disappointing that he hasn't shot the ball better. I, You know, I think he is a confident, confident player. He you know, keeps shooting them, and we want him to shoot. Uh, the thing with him that's really that we're very pleased with this summer is his defense. I mean, he's really uh, had some very good defensive games. I think he started off well this game uh, guarding Forbes. So we're pleased with that. And a guy like that who you know can make shots, and that's going to come. Uh, so from that standpoint, you know, I think everybody wants to make shots, but I don't think we're necessarily overreacting to it. Terry, with uh, with Zach Collins, he's one of the youngest kids in the draft and, and uh, obviously a local kid here. When you draft him, and he's obviously got great potential, but you look at your roster and you've got some size. What's the thought process process in how long do you think a guy like that takes to get acclimated to the league? It seems like he's going to be really good in time. He is going to be really good on time. He's going to have a long, successful career. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm confident of that. I don't. I, I think it's different for every player, and I wouldn't want to necessarily put a timeline on when when it's all going to come together. But he has so many things that he does well right now that translates to the NBA game. He has great footwork. He passes. He can shoot. Uh, he has good length. He can test shots. He's he's fundamentally very sound. So there's so many positives. Right now, the only thing is he's got to get stronger, and that's going to come with time. Uh, I'm a big believer that. When young players come into the league, uh, it has to happen naturally. Obviously, we'll work on it. But you know, we had a player named Joel Prisbilla when I was in Milwaukee, 19-year-old, seven-footer, and you know he gained a little bit too much weight too soon, and it, it was kind of a setback. So mm -hmm. I think you have to be patient with him. But like I said, he's got a lot of things going for him, and, and we're we're excited about the player he's going to become. Mm -hmm. Johnson scoring there on the tip in. Obviously, uh, the bread and butter for you guys is that backcourt, 50 points per game between uh, Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum. How can they even get better? I mean, they're, they're about as good as it gets right now. What are you looking for heading into this next year? Well, it, they have a difficult responsibility because we need them to score, and that's what they do best. So I certainly don't want to take away from their scoring. But, you know, the next step for both of them is, you know, translating it to wins and making their teammates better and, you know, all those things. I think that's uh, uh, the hallmark of, of great players in this league is not only what they do with the ball, but how they can help their team. And uh, certainly Damien has shown that over his five five year career of uh, being a leader and gotten better every year. But for them, it's not about scoring. It's um, it becomes a, a team thing and um, how, how what they do individually translate to team success.
There's the numbers from Dame Lillard and C.J. McCollum outstanding backcourt in Portland after uh, splitting the 82 games last season and heading into the postseason. What's next after this for uh, Summer League and moving forward for you on your calendar as you get ready for training camp? Well, there's a, there's an annual camp in uh, here in Vegas for young players like rookies, first year, second year players. Uh, Coach Tim Gergerich, uh, who's uh, kind of an NBA legend, is has been putting this camp on for a while. So our young guys will be there, Caleb and, and Zach and Jake will all be there with a couple of our coaches. But there's about 60, 60 players, NBA players that will be there. So that's good for them. I'll, I'll be there for that. And then uh, most of our players come back into town right after Labor Day. So we'll have a good September where uh, we can get some good work in before training camp. It's like an Albany Patroons, by the way, reunion for the two of us. You were an assistant. <laughs> you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to tell people George what the Albany Carl. Patroons are. The, the old CBA for the fans uh, who watched the CBA back in the day. Remember, they have Phil Jackson as the head coach, Bill Musselman as the head coach, George Carl was there. You were his assistant. I was just a 21-year-old radio guy, so you can vouch to Fran. I did have hair yeah. at some point. Well, we talked about that earlier, and for your viewers out there, <laughs> we knew back then that was 25 years ago that he was gonna. He was eventually gonna look the way he does now. That's right. A lot of shine up there on that dome. <laughs> Terry, thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate hey, it. My pleasure, guys. You. All right. Thanks, thanks Coach. Terry.